We are Paul Leonard and Bryce Graskowski, and this is 20, 20 Minutes of Fitness. Hey, Bryce. Hey, Paul. Three shows in a row. All right. Yes, three shows show. in a row. That's that last shows. one was good. Dude, that I was highly recommend people go back to that one if they a haven't lot of, really watched it. A lot of people came and said uh, comments. This is our best show. That was our best show ever. I, I think a lot of people realize that with simplicity comes some quality. Success. Success. S- the, the two S's. Simplicity. The kiss. Success. Keep, Keep it, it stu- simple. Keep, stupid. Well, keep it stupid. Simple. Okay. So uh, I, I do agree with those statements that if we eat less and we exercise more, we are going to get fitter and less fat and uh, succeed more. But let's elaborate a little bit today. Probably and then, a lot. Well, let's, let's keep, try to keep it to 20 minutes today. Okay. And then we're going to try to do weekly nutrition talks breaking down different options okay, okay. so over the next x Works amount of weeks because i don't know how many we're going to do of them we're going to try to break down all the different common diets okay. so everything from zone to rp to paleo to keto to weight watchers got it I think Whatever we could keep going. Yeah, we could do this forever. But there's hours and hours of content to be made about all those diets, yep. and the reality is, what one of those diets works, Bryce? All of them? None of them? I think they all work oh, as long as you them. eat less, and none of them and you work. Exercise, and none of them work if you eat too much. So I think all of those work, and I think there's good and bad things about all of them. I also know what we choose to do the best, yeah, and why we choose that. Um, so. To kind of simplify the whole thing, because really all those diets do work for different people. It depends on your, you know, your makeup um, and also what you're going to actually follow. Because uh, number one is following it, right? If you could follow the diet or not. If you don't follow the diet, it doesn't work. That's, that's as simple as that, right? Yeah. Um, and if you follow it five days in a row and then you just blow it out for Saturday, Sunday, you might as well have not started. Yeah, like keto is the main one. If you don't follow that every day, don't do it. Yeah, but we'll we'll tell you why in in well, the keto episode. Keto. Um, but a generality we should that both you, drink bulletproof coffees for that episode. Yeah, yeah, saying. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Poop our brains out later. No. <laughs> um, uh, so the generality I would go with all of those is, and that goes with eat less, exercise more, calories in versus calories out. Yeah. So you start with, and they all have to kind of give something to quantity of food. Um, an easiest way to do it is go on. You go online or have somebody uh, do it. Like you, you can pay us to do it. Uh, go on our website and we'll. There's a little questionnaire you could fill out, and we'll figure out your macros, meaning your your fat, carb, and uh, protein intake, um, based on your activity levels. Now, the the best way to do that is to get something like a um, a halo strap, strap or yeah. something along those lines, or go. Actually, you want to get crazy? You go do what's that thing? What's that? Is that the in body? What's, what is that called? The thing that checks your. Uh, respiration rate and all that stuff. Oh, and VO2 max? Yeah, you know, like it checks, figures out your metabolic rate. I don't know. The Embody does a lot of that stuff and so does the yeah. VO2 max Bod test. pod or I don't know what the fuck they're called. But oh, yeah. like you mean like the full pod one? Yeah, whatever that thing yeah, is where they, yeah. you sit in there and they, they actually figure out what your true metabolic rate is. Um, okay. Whereas I don't know how accurate these things are. I know Apple Watch is not accurate. I bet uh, the latest one's a lot better, though. It has the I would hope stuff so. on the back and everything on it now. So I would potentially hope so. it's gotten a lot better. Um, this seems pretty accurate, or at least the, I like the numbers, I guess. Um, and they just came out with a new one. With, and how does that compare as far as this specifically to the Whoop? Because that was the other one that we did for a while. Oh, dude. The, the Whoop is a joke. Like, this is a tenth of the price, not even. And it, I mean, it's going to do all the same shit the Whoop does, plus way more it gives you programs to follow like Mm. oh i my sleep score sucks here's what you could do to fix your sleep score just buy this on amazon (laughs) no no most of it's (laughs) most of it's like hey man just sit there in the dark for alexa's already watching you bro oh yeah no doubt you can it can you can make it listen to you too and it tells you what you're anyway check out check out the amazon halo uh review we have up separate Um, podcast it's separate podcast podcast. it'll tell you all about it it's and it'll tell you why it's better than a whoop and they just came out with one that has a watch so if you actually watch my review because i sent that to amazon they they changed everything because of that review oh they did everything i said they should okay so go check that out no no it, it came out 
uh, two days ago. It's, it's, it's on its way, two of oh, them. Oh, sure it so is. I bought Tommy one for Christmas. There you go. Don't tell yeah. her. Don't tell her, good, Tommy. Good thing don't she doesn't listen. listen. Yeah, it's a good thing no one listens to our show. <laughs> okay. So okay, anyway. so let's uh, let's get more simplified yeah, yeah. with diet. Let's you, get into it. Yeah, yeah. For Just right now, I'm a big fatty right okay. now at 245. 245. Okay. So without going into all these fancy diets and stuff, no, what no. what should I be eating? So this is basically going to go down to how much calories do you expend, and how many do you eat? You need that expenditure to be more than what you eat. So we figure out what your daily activity is, which yours is like light activity, um, light to medium activity at work, and you work out five days a week? Five, six days a week. Right, so you'd like, to, you'd like that to show, yep. right? Your intention is to lose a little weight for show, not yep. necessarily for go, because you perform fine for the most part. Uh, average at best. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at your best, you are average. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. right. There you go. So um, I do have a diet calculator that I, that I built. Um, and that's, I don't just willy nilly figure this shit out. Uh, so for you, I would suggest like right around your body weight, 240 grams of protein. Yeah. Um, and that's cause you work out hard. Yeah. With how much I train, I need a lot of protein to fuel my you're muscles. You're breaking down a lot of muscles. So like if, if, if you're Joe Schmo sitting at an office desk, you don't need that, ma- that much no, protein. No, a lot of people don't. Um, and if you're but not. for people who are working out a lot, yeah, one per pound. Intense, is, intense guess, workout, intense work, intense workout or strength training. Um, you're going to want to up your protein level and, um, a gram per pound is actually a little bit too much, but we'll, we'll talk about that some other time. Um, it's close, but it's not going to do you wrong. Whereas if you, if you equate it to like carbs, I only want to eat, you know, half a carb per body weight or whatever. If you overdo carbs, it's bad. Whereas protein and is going to do carbs. It can be bad too. Not as bad as overdo. Nowhere near as bad as that's definitely and, true. Um, and overdoing protein and underdoing carbs, and that's kind of the thing. I'd rather give you more protein to eat. Yeah, because, because your body, transfer your body's going to turn it. Carbs anyway. It's going to turn the protein into into carbs. So you're not going to. Um, it's not going to damage you uh, eating too much protein. That's a, kind of the safest thing to eat, right? Whereas carbs, you eat too many carbs, it turns it into fat. Your body turns protein to carbs, um, carbs to fat. And fat, it'll break that down for energy, which also takes place of carbs as well. So the the main one you don't want to overdo is carbs. So for you, 240 grams of protein, uh, you're a higher fat, higher protein guy, so going to do less carbs. So you're looking at like 120 something grams of carbs um, and then 150 roughly grams of fat. So it's a higher fat. That's going to give you about 2,800 calories. So that's a that's not a weight loss. No, that's a stay there. That's a that's a stay and perform. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, if we're going to go to weight loss, we're going to probably drop about. Um, I could tell you exactly. Let's see. Would we just do the same numbers based off of my goal weight? Um, no, it's it's just a totally different uh, different thing here. Price is making it really complicated. Yeah. So I was trying to be simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you figure out. So to lose weight, you figure out your your daily expenditure, and then. Roughly subtract. It depends on how crazy you want to be. So if you want to lose a lot of weight, you're probably going to cut like 800 plus. I'd like to lose 20 pounds before the end of the week. Yeah. that Stop eating today. Okay. And today's what? Tuesday? Tuesday. All right. You're going to have to run and exercise. Do You have to run about a half a marathon a day. Okay. Half a marathon. You're also going to have to do um, about an hour of strenuous strength training so you can break okay, your muscles day. down yeah. so that your your body could just okay, half shit, marathon, them, lots of shit them out. Okay. As the month goes goes on, you're and no water, right? Because that would add water. No light. water. Yeah, no, no water. water. Okay. And as the week goes on, you should see a lot of weight loss. Okay. Your your performance is going to go down slightly, eh. um, and you're probably going to be really tired. Like you know, not wake up, grouchy, man. Yeah, you can't do that. The okay, twenty twenty do pounds that. in a week. Don't don't. So do that. so, what's um, a reasonable amount to assume I could lose? Yeah. In a week? So uh, a pound of a pound of fat is twenty is thirty five hundred calories. If you're at a 500 calorie deficit, and this is where calories in, calories out, 500 calorie deficit, seven days a week. What is that, Paul? You should be a pound. It's one pound a week. Um, just remember, my diet is not the same for seven days a week because my expenditure is not the same. So you kind of got to average it out. Yeah. Um, I might be burning 3,000 calories Monday through Friday because I'm going to work and working out. Saturday and Sunday, Wait, I you, might. You go to work at your workout. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. that's right. Which is even worse. That's why I'm at 3,000 calories. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday, I might work out, but I'm mostly sitting on a beach, 
right? Or sitting on my couch. So And Tommy gets tired after that one two minute workout anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That please, that's not even a workout, dude. I barely get out of breath. Lies. <laughs> um so you have to average that all out. You can't be like, well, I burn 3,000 calories a day, according to this, because it's Tuesday. And uh, yesterday and today, I burned 3,000 calories. So three times seven, it doesn't work that way. You have to make, make up for the fact that you're sitting on your ass two days a week. You could average it all in, because really, it's not day to day that matters. No. It's week to week. Yeah. Um, so see so it a little bit too much one day. You can make up for it. Yeah, you can day. make up to it. And that's, and that's the thing. Uh, like the holidays are coming up. So don't think. Ooh, fasting is oh, another one we need to talk about. The, yeah, absolutely. Holidays are coming up. Oh, uh, I'm going to gain 10 pounds over the holidays. Why? Do we have to walk like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The holidays are coming up. The holidays are literally. Holidays. Stop talking over me, man. You know, fuck <laughs> up your <laughs> mind. <laughs> It's literally two days. If you gain ten pounds in two days, it's not two days. It's the weeks in between that you're not that you're you're using it as an excuse. So don't think in eat a day. Eat more, exercise less. That's it. So on those two days, yeah, you're gonna eat a little more. The next day, don't eat as much. Cut it down a little bit and, and maybe exercise a little more. Or even on the uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, go for a fucking walk after you eat. Right. What if we're working on the before picture for the New Year's challenge? Oh, dude. Bump it up. Working for the new year, I'm working for the new year. I'm working for the before up. picture. Again, it's all timing, man. Bump that shit up. You make gained it look 20 good. pounds in the month before the before picture. Absolutely. It'd be easy to also, knock that first 20 Also, off. If, you're in, if you're one of those diet challenges online, dude, chug tons of water before you get on the scale. Or eggnog. No, that, that's not good. You will throw up. <laughs> Actually, it's really hard. To, really heavy. It's really hard to chug water. I don't know if you ever tried chugging a gallon of water. It's, it's really hard. Like you could chug a gallon of soda a lot easier. Hmm. Um, How about egg dog? Ugh, I don't, dude, that <laughs> sounds disgusting. It makes me sick. <laughs> it just about seems it. like it'd be so heavy that you'd probably, gain weight just drinking it. it. It's actually less dense than water, which doesn't seem like it would be, but think about it. It is. Um, so water weighs I, I don't know about that. half a pound per cup. No, because you add stuff to you add solids to the to the water. It makes the water lighter. It's less dense, guaranteed, dude. Guaranteed. Okay. I am right. Um, One of us is a pump guy. <laughs> so half half a cup of water weighs, um, I'm sorry, one cup of water weighs half a pound. So if you if you slam down, I don't know, a quart of water, what's that? That's two pounds. So if you're getting on a scale for a weight loss online diet thing, not mine, somebody <laughs> else's, do you can pump up easily without any damage that you're going to just disappear three three pounds, slam down six cups of water right before you get on scale. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. That, that would help. And actually, drink more water. You want to lose weight? There's That's actually one. a That's legitimate a great excuse. One. We yeah. should have actually added that to last podcast. <laughs> Eat, less, Eat less, work out more, drink lots of water. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna redo that one. Um, so, so is that does that make it pretty easy though? Yeah, I mean that doesn't mean anything to me because What's that? I I don't know how to eat grams of things. Yeah, well, so I don't I don't really know what we're talking about still. So I'm just gonna like go into the fridge and pull out the gram of the grams of steak. No. And then I'm going to grab, pull out my grams no. so of you, potatoes. So you, and I'm pull out my grams of bacon. So this is important, and we'll, we're going to do one on weighing food. You, a pound of meat or, uh -huh. or is not a pound of, I don't know how many grams are in a pound. <laughs> I don't know anything about But a gram of beef is not a gram of protein. Do not weigh the food. Otherwise, you, you will lose your 20 pounds in a week because <laughs> you'll fast. be starving to death. No, That's what I was getting at. Um, like a uh, a cup of milk. We'll go back to the milk. Oh, great choice. Let's talk about foods. one one cup of milk weighs <laughs> about half a pound, a little less because it's milk. If it was water, <laughs> we'll agree. We'll agree on that. Half a cup, of, <laughs> half a pound. Of, it weighs half a pound. That is not half a pound of um, protein, fat, or carbohydrate. There's there's eight grams of fat. I mean of um, protein, protein. I think. Eight grams? Is that right? In a cup oh, it depends of milk? on the milk. Yeah. It's close. Whole milk, probably. Four to eight, something like that. And then there's like eight to ten grams of fat, probably. Oh, easy. And then... Maybe more. Well, if we're talking whole milk, even It more. all depends on the milk, how much shit they add to it. Then there's like almost 20 grams of carbs in a thing of milk, right? I'm pulling these out of my butt. But my point is... You're not just getting all protein out of anything. No, because, or what's, all fat out because of anything. what's in everything we eat? Tons of water. So 
It's the which solid. Which weighs more than anything else. Which weighs more than anything else. <laughs> That's right. Because if you have a if you have a cup of milk, it's <laughs> It's it's <laughs> seven eighths water. Therefore, the water weighs more than the carbs, protein, and fat put together. Right? Oh, right. Sure. Yeah. So you, that's not how you um, you can't weigh it. You have to look at labels. You have to look at labels if you're if you're going by macros like that. And you can we'll actually do a podcast or the we'll mention method. a podcast more about um about the scale that tells you all those macros. I have a cool scale that oh, yeah, absolutely. you put it on there yep. and you put in, you put chicken breast on, it, it says exactly, it just measures the protein. Or so you and put again, in a code and it just measures whatever Cooked part. chicken breast versus raw. Yeah. When you cook There's it, different codes what happens for each when you cook things? it? It gets tastier. What, ge- what gets cooked out of it? <laughs> the salmonella. The water, motherfucker. <laughs> the water. So, so it gets lighter because water's <laughs> heavy, Paul. Water's heavy. So... Yes, moral of the story is the easy way to diet is to eat less and to eat specific amounts of different things, which one way or another you have to proportion per- correctly. Quantity. You have to have the quantitative amounts of things of quality because if we just go and eat- Quality way, helps. If we just eat low macros but from McDonald's, it's not going to go very well. You'd still lose the weight equally well, but you wouldn't perform very yeah, well again, from doing so. Yeah, again, you can lose weight eating garbage, but- just know the macros still have to work. <laughs> you're going to be super hungry because if you if you're let's say a, a Snickers bar, Snickers satisfies. That's because there's like 200 and something carbs in a little or in a um, uh, 200 something calories in a little tiny Snickers bar. Oh, yeah, it's quick. That's quick energy. Right away, you're feeling good, that's and, then, you, and then it's there. gone, and you're starving because th- it's this big. Versus a head of lettuce has about 10 calories, and that's going to fill your stomach up for a while. I wish so. I still had the video that me and Dan Pino did of us doing lettuce, the oh, yeah. skit, but I have it on my Facebook, but it doesn't work. Oh, I, I'll find it if I can okay. find it. I'm going to yeah. email Dan about that. You'll yeah. like it. Okay. Not relevant to anything, but yeah. it'd be a good be YouTube fun. video. Put it on here. Yeah. So okay. that's, that's kind of the, the easy answer. So we need Which to talk more about how we get less exercise, rest man. of it. So that's going to be our next episode, I think, should be maybe the eyeball method. What is uh, going to be? The eyeball method, talking okay, about so like, like the plate method. The plate method, so we know how much of our plate needs to be covered by this yeah. or how much we'll of our hand needs to stay. Exactly. Yeah. So let's, let's do a little bit of pl- open, preparing for that. Open fist. Okay. Is that poi? I don't know. I was just we, this has I, gone away from us, I th- guys. I think we're done. Peace out, guys. Like, oh, wait. like subscribe. Um, Listen. That's it. And if you guys need... Comment. Um, we want comments. If you're in need of diet advice and direction, um, message us uh, on this, on Facebook, on Instagram, or email us. Everything's at CrossFitWestOahu.com. You can sign up right there. Um, we offer diet we offer health prog- and fitness yeah and programming for um at home stuff so hit us up peace later